हेलो एवरी वन आई एम क्रोनाल पाटिल रोल नंबर थ्री थ्री टू सेवन एंड दिस इज असाइनमेंट नंबर थर्टीन ह्यूमिडिटी एंड रेन डिटेक्शन सेंसर सो वॉट वी डू यर इज वी डिटेक्ट द ह्यूमिडिटी प्रेजेंट इन दी मॉइस्चर सॉइल एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ह्यूमिडिटी वी डिटर्मेंट विद दी रेन इज रेन इट विल रेन और इट विल नॉट रेन बेस्ड ऑन द ह्यूमिडिटी सो दी कंपोनेंट्स यूज आर पोटेंशियो मीटर एंड नियो पिक्सल अलॉन्ग विद आर डीनो why we are using potentiometer is we do not have humidity sensor present here so we can alter the resistance using potentiometer and determine and simulate whether the humidity is present or not so the scenario is the dry soil has less humidity and hence its resistance is also less if the soil is wet there is moisture in the soil humidity in the soil and the resistance will ultimately be high for that soil so if the resistance is low then we can consider it as a dry soil if the resistance is more we can consider it as wet soil and the same way we can then simulate the behavior using potentiometer so the connections here is the 5 volt uh, input supply is given to one end of the potentiometer and the similar 5 volt supply is given to power of the neo pixel the a uh, middle pin of the potentiometer is given a not analog signal is the input signal so whichever value this potentiometer generates is given to a not and the third pin is connected to ground for neo pixel the middle pin is connected to ground the power signal is connected to 5 volt supply and the ground and the input signal is connected to pin number 2 of the arduino so whatever the arduino gives us output we can display it according to the neo pixel and the color is being generated here coming to the coding part and initially we have few of the variables assigned here as the pin is 2 which will give you the output for the neo pixel sensor is connected to a not which will be the input for the new, uh, arduino from new potentiometer num pixel used is 1 dry threshold for uh, uh, considering whether the soil is dry or not using the resistance is 50 so resistance below 50 is dry resistance greater than 200 is wet and resistance below 50 and 200 will be neither be dry or nor be wet and the threshold center is being calculated the cross fed is 20 and what does cross fed means is we can determine the red and uh, blue or green intensity of the color of the neo pixel using this uh, cross fed now what we do is we create one object of the neo pixel class adafruit neo pixel class which is being input from included from the adafruit neo pixel header library and we can uh, create the pixel object by passing the number of pixels and the pin value the variables red green blue will store the intensity of the color sensor value will store the value of the sensor transition value transition value and then the start the uh, give input to the sensor and uh, consider the sensor as input sensor is a not then we in the loop we pass the sensor value and uh, whatever this uh, potentiometer generates is given to a not this sensor and that sensor value is converted so that sensor value which is being generated from analog read is in the range of 0 to 1 0 to 4 and we convert it to 0 to 255 which will be easier to display for a color this is the color range 0 to 255 then we set the color of neo pixel using the set color function inside set color what we do is we consider the transition value if it is less than the threshold value and we then display it as the red color if the transition value is greater than wet threshold and it is less than 255 then accordingly we determine the blue color and for green color if the transition value is greater than dry threshold and less than the threshold center then it is less green but if the uh, transition value is greater than the threshold center and less than the wet threshold which is uh, 200 and then according to that we can uh, display more brighter green color here else green color will be zero so coming back to the simulation part here we can see that uh, when the uh, resistance is we decrease the resistance first so the resistance is very low which means that the moisture and humidity in the soil is very high 
because it is the wet soil as soon as we increase the resistance the yeah, soil changes its uh, nature from wet uh, to dryness and uh, similarly the humidity and moisture also reduces so the green which shows that the moisture is uh, between dry and uh, wet soil and as we increase the resistance the ultimately the humidity and moisture in the soil reduces and the red color is being displayed so in this way we are able to determine the humidity and rain detection center sensor so this was assignment number 13 humidity and rain detection sensor thank you